Is there anything as perfect in this world as cheese? It melts, it stretches, it can be tangy, sweet, sour. We love cheese. Should we start naming all the cheeses? Yeah, cheddar. Gouda. Havarti. Blue. Parmesan. Goat. It's just an entire world of its own, and we're here to explore it. We've discovered something beautiful. There is a cheese fondue gondola in Rhode Island. You sit there in this gorgeous Christmas gondola and waiters dote on you and they bring you cheese and they bring you champagne. And not just any kind of cheese, delicious high-end fondue cheese. So we're gonna get on a train, we're gonna go to Rhode Island and we're gonna see what this cheese gondola is all about. Throughout the course of this video, we're gonna be giving you guys some super hot cheese facts. And Dakota's gonna start with the first one. Did you know that archaeologists found evidence of 7,000 year old cheese? What? Well, let's go eat some freaking cheese. <sighs> oh, <if> you insist. <laughs> Boom. You need to make a quick pit stop. My name's Tim Myers. I'm the Director of Culinary Education here at the Ocean House in Watch Hill, Rhode Island. And today we're standing here in front of the Fondue Village. This is a unique dining experience we offer here only in the winter. It's so pretty. Gorgeous. I love these. They're so cute. Look at the, look at the marble fire Oh my goodness, pit. here, let's sit by the fire. All I need now is just a glass of champagne. Well, you know what? I have some news for you. <gasps> <laughs> what service? Thank you, You're Dakota. You're so welcome. I'll fist pump cheers you. I could get used to this. Last year, we had one gondola uh, called Fondue Express, and we actually sold out. So we built two more and made a little village for this year. Let's go explore one of these gondolas. Let's go look. I'm gonna bring my champagne. Yeah, of course. I'm fancy. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute in here. Wow, this is cozy. This is cozy. Great place for a table. Whoever thought yeah. of this is a genius. Our president and group managing director here at the Ocean House is very proud of his Swiss heritage. And he had an experience similar to this in Europe and thought there's no reason why we couldn't just do it here. This is the only in gondola dining experience in North America. I'm speechless, honestly. This all looks so Absolutely incredibly amazing. <laughs> we have meats, potatoes, bread. This, there's a bag of bread. Oh, it's bread like sack. a warm hug. <laughs> Liz. Dakota. How are we gonna review this fondue? Let's pick some categories. Okay, let's say quantity of cheese. I mean, there's one cheese, but there's a lot of it. But there's a lot. Quantity, I think it's high. The Instagram ability, I can already tell you that's high. Very, We can just clear that one high. up right now. This is the only gondola restaurant in North America. What? Instagram ability, high. And then most importantly of all, how fancy do we feel? Mm -hmm. Well, fanciness just doubled because I brought us some tea gloves. This is amazing. Which normally you use these for tea, but you know what? We're using them for cheese. I am so ready to eat some of this. Let's, I can't wait any longer. I think for the first dip, yeah. we should do the cheese pull competition. Oh, the first dip? Okay, how do we determine this? We pick our food and whichever pull is the longest wins. What are you selecting? What is your choice. I'm gonna do a pickle. Oh, bold. I'm gonna do bread. Here's my reasoning. Bread has a lot of surface area. I know. I was just thinking. I'm gonna do the cauliflower. Ooh. I changed my oh, I changed okay. my food my food weapon. Strategy choice. Highest wins. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Ready? Yep. And pull. Oh no! That's hard to say. It is hard to say. I think we'll just call it a tie. Okay, let, you know what? Cheers. Everyone wins Everyone because wins. we get to eat this. That's so true. That's so good. Mm. This is exactly what I want. Okay, so the cheese is a bit tangy, which I really like about it. What I like about this cheese is that it has a lot of white wine in it mm -hmm. and it gives it that rich 
like tangy feel that you were talking about. Yeah. And they've combined it with like the perfect blend where it's like not one of them is overpowering. They all kind of like swirl beautifully together. And it's also, you can still taste whatever you're eating under the cheese. Yes. It, like they combine super nicely to make just such a lovely rich bite every time. Do you want a cheese fact? I would love a cheese fact. Okay. Cheese fact. <laughs> On average, it takes about 10 pounds of milk to make one pound of cheese. Cheese fact. They're so Here's cute. a question. Which food do you think brings out the cheese the best? The potatoes are soft, yeah. as is the cheese. Mm -hmm. And the pickle, I think the flavor of the pickle stands out a little too strongly. Yeah. The bread, you can taste both flavors equally. It's got a nice variety of texture. Yeah. And it's bread and cheese. I'm going to say the potato. Oh, okay. And here's why. It has kind of the least flavor of all the foods, but it's also a tiny bit sweet. And so I think putting that little bit of sweetness in with the tanginess of the cheese like heightens the taste of the cheese. I respect your decision. Thank you. I love cheese. Dakota, so you're much. being a turophile. What is a turophile? It's a word for people who love cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'm a turophile. Oh, we have to also do the fanciest. Who can dip the fanciest? Okay. Who can do the fanciest well, bite? Okay, your tea gloves are automatically fancier than mine. Okay, let's do this. Instead of us deciding, the audience decides. Okay. So you vote in the comments who does the fanciest bite. <laughs> no! Okay, I just want. So I'm gonna use an onion. I'm gonna use some potatoes. You go first. No, you go first. No, you go too. first. No, you go first. Okay. What's the fanciest finger? It's the pinky. It is the pinky. You're gonna eat it with, okay. Pinky to thumb. <laughs> and that is why I'm a fancy boy. Oh, God. How are you gonna top that? I mean, literally, by I could just dip my thing in and I would top that. The pinky is the fanciest finger, and therefore you need to show it off. You don't utilize it as Dakota did. Ready? One full swoop. Mm. And that's how it's done. Please vote on who is the fanciest, i.e., me down below in the comments. Thanks. This experience was far better than I thought it would be. If you have the means and time, come here. Seriously. It's absolutely worth the trip to Rhode Island. If you're a cheese lover, this is a cheese lover's paradise. This is truly. Well, it's certainly one of a kind, and I, I, don't, I don't think many of our guests have ever experienced anything like this, whether they're world travelers or uh, New England locals. This is just outside of a five-star hotel called Ocean House, and like you can tell it's five stars because whatever you want, they will just like bring. Everyone here was so nice. They were all a treat to be with and work with. Let me tell you, I love this a lot. I'm getting full. <laughs> And that's really sad He's to getting me. full, everyone. <laughs> here's the real question though, Liz. If someone said, here's a block of cheddar or here's a pot of fondue, oh, which would you pick? Oh, this is tough. I know. I think I know the answer though. You do? I'm gonna pick the fondue. <gasps> oh my goodness. I was yeah. just gonna say, they're equally incredible and both go down in history as the perfect foods because cheese is perfect. Cheese is perfect no matter what form it's in. But I will say, it is nice to be able to sit down and appreciate a beautifully fancy fondue. And so I think on the way back, I'm just going to take this with me and I'll see you back in New York, okay. I wanna do just like a fast cut of all the bites Dakota has eaten, just at the end credits, just like cut, 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 cut. Nat, you got that? Kevin. Uh -huh. So. We should just, you're not supposed to eat it yet. We have to dip it in the cheese. Of, um, Wait, I need this first. Okay. Okay. I'd like, I'm just gonna eat. I, have, I just like can't stop eating. Yeah, you can't. I love cheese. I have like, I've, oh my God. You just got it all over the table. On my phone. <laughs> That'd be super insane. Okay. I need one more bite of something. Yeah.